I'm a continuous learning machine, uh, and, and all mistakes are opportunities for learning. And so uh, hopefully, you know, I, I sort of decided at 50, I was like, okay, I'm not going to make any more mistakes. <laughs> and I made one. But no, look, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we've had the best uh, five years uh, in the history of the firm. And uh, we're fortunate in the way that we're structured. You know, we, I've, I've been a kind of Warren Buffett devotee, unofficial, uh, he's been my unofficial mentor for, for many years. And if you look at his trajectory, he, he started out as a, what today you would call an activist hedge fund manager running a series of private partnerships. Over time, uh, he uh, took control of what he called a crappy textile company, or probably what was best described as a crappy textile company. But the access to the permanency of that capital gave him the ability to take a, kind of the very long-term view in a world where uh, people in the investment management business generally are have have to make short-term decisions because their capital, you know, it, it can't, can't. Welcome, viewers, to another deep dive into the intriguing world of Bill Ackman, the maverick CEO of Pershing Square Capital Management. Ackman's bold and eccentric investment strategies have made headlines. And today we unravel the secrets behind his recent triumphs. Stick around as we explore Ackman's unique approach to investing, his mentors, and the strategic gems he's strategically placed his bets on. Continuous learning and structure, Ackman, a self-proclaimed continuous learning machine, embraces mistakes as opportunities for growth. Despite vowing to make no more mistakes after the age of 50, he remains resilient. With the best five years in the history of his firm, Pershing Square Capital Management, Ackman attributes their success to their structure, influenced by his unofficial mentor, Warren Buffett. Ackman's investment strategies, known for his market timing wizardry, Ackman's recent triumph involves turning $27 million into a whopping $2.6 billion in just a week. His keen focus on dividend income aligns with Warren Buffett's wisdom of making money while you sleep. As of December 2, Ackman boasts eight companies in his portfolio, generating a staggering $97 million in dividend income. Restaurant Brands International Inc., QSR. Let's dive into Ackman's dividend playbook. First up is Restaurant Brands International Inc., QSR. Ackman holds 23.35% shares valued at $1.56 billion. With an annual dividend of $2.20 per share, QSR contributes significantly to Ackman's portfolio. The company's strong financials, with a 10.9% increase in consolidated system-wide sales, make it a compelling long-term investment. Lowe's Companies Inc., Lowe. Next on the list is Lowe's Companies Inc., Lowe, a titan in the home improvement retail sector. Ackman holds 7.07 million shares valued at $1.4 billion. Despite a recent top-line miss, Lowe's $4.40 per share annual dividend adds stability to Ackman's portfolio. The company's strategic pricing approach and stable financials, including a $5.4 billion FCF generation, make it an enticing investment. Hilton Worldwide Holdings Inc., HLT, moving on to the third gem in Ackman's dividend arsenal. Hilton Worldwide Holdings Inc., HLT. Ackman's investment of 10.31 million shares valued at over $1.5 billion has resulted in a dividend bonanza of $618 million. Hilton's impressive growth in the hospitality sector, with a 6.8% YOY increase in RevPAR and a strategic asset light business model, positions it as a powerhouse in Ackman's dividend kingdom. Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, CPKC. Our final destination in Ackman's dividend empire is Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, CPKC. Ackman's substantial stake of 15.1 million shares valued at over $1.1 billion makes CPKC a dividend powerhouse with 56 cents per share, translating into a total dividend income of $8.5 million. Despite recent challenges, Ackman remains confident in CPKC's long-term growth potential, anticipating a profitable trajectory in the years to come. Restaurant Brands International Inc., QSR, Financial Resilience, Digging Deeper into Restaurant Brands International Inc., QSR. Ackman's commitment to this fast food giant is evident. With a whopping 23.35% stake valued at $1.56 billion, QSR boasts impressive financial resilience. In the third quarter of 2023, Consolidated system-wide sales soared by 10.9%, reaching a staggering $11.2 billion. This showcases the company's unwavering strength in the face of market dynamics. 
operating margins, though slightly below 2022 levels, stand strong at 30.4%, ensuring sustained profitability. QSR Dividend Prowess Let's talk dividends. QSR's annual dividend of $2.20 per share is not just a number on paper. It's a testament to the company's commitment to rewarding investors. Over the past eight years, Restaurant Brands has consistently showered its investors with dividends, yielding a tasty trailing 12 months, TTM, dividend yield of 3%. This outshines the consumer discretionary sector at 2.3%, translating into total returns that are a remarkable 50 percentage points higher than mere price returns. Lowe's Companies Inc., Low, Navigating Challenges. Now, turning our attention to Lowe's Companies Inc., Low. Ackman's strategic play in the home improvement retail sector. Despite a recent top-line miss, Lowe's resilience stands out. Revenues dipped to $2.47 billion in the last fiscal quarter, reflecting a QOQ decline of 17.9% and a YOY slump of 12.8%. Blame it on the DIY discretionary spending slowdown, a consequence of the current state of the U.S. housing market. Low strategic focus. However, Lowe's strategic focus remains intact with over 1,700 stores across the United States. Lowe pays out a substantial annual dividend of $4.40 per share, contributing a cool $331.1 million to Ackman's flourishing portfolio, while its shares may have lagged behind the S&P 500 in soaring returns. It's the enticing dividend payout that makes this retail giant a compelling long-term investment. Hilton Worldwide Holdings Inc., HLT, Global Resurgence, transitioning to the third gem in Ackman's dividend arsenal. Hilton Worldwide Holdings Inc., HLT. As the travel industry experiences a remarkable resurgence post-pandemic, Hilton has not just been a catalyst for substantial returns. It's emerged as a powerhouse in the hospitality sector. Ackman's investment of 10.31 million shares, valued at over $1.5 billion, has proven to be a dividend bonanza, showering $618 million into his portfolio. HLT Strategic Growth Hilton's financial prowess and expansion plans are sending ripples of optimism through the investment landscape. In the third quarter, Hilton reported an impressive 6.8% YOY increase in revenue per available room, Rev par. Adjusted earnings per share, EPS, stood tall at $1.67, marking a stellar 27% rise from the same period last year. Hilton's asset light business model, with a vast global hotel estate of 1.15 million rooms, positions it as a key contributor to Ackman's dividend kingdom. Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, CPKC, Long Term Vision. Our final destination in Ackman's dividend empire is Canadian Pacific Kansas City Limited, CPKC. Ackman's substantial stake of 15.1 million shares valued at over $1.1 billion makes CPKC a dividend powerhouse with 56 cents per share translating into a total dividend income of $8.5 million. Beyond dividends, Ackman's strategic vision for CPKC is crystal clear. CPKC strategic synergies, despite temporary setbacks, CPKC's recent performance reveals a tale of resilience and growth. The merger with Kansas City Southern has substantially bolstered revenues, with a remarkable 44.4% YOY increase in the last quarter. Ackman believes in CPKC's substantial synergies and envisions a profitable long-term growth trajectory, catalyzing share price appreciation in the years to come. And there you have it, a comprehensive analysis of Bill Ackman's dividend playbook, dissecting his strategic investments in restaurant brands International, Lowe's Companies, Hilton Worldwide Holdings, and Canadian Pacific Kansas City. Ackman's continuous learning mindset and commitment to long-term growth have undoubtedly shaped Pershing Square Capital Management's success. Stay tuned for more financial insights and investment strategies in our upcoming episodes. Until next time, happy investing!